Good morning. Good morning. Say, it looks to me like you had sex last night. I sure did. Sounds like you're living your best life. Heavens! It seems as though that woman hasn't been home since last night. I sure haven't. Congratulations. Thank you. Nothing I haven't done before. In my day, I was no stranger to the walk of shame. No shame here. Hey, you're an inspiration to my daughter. I respect that you enjoyed yourself last night. I think we can all agree. Having sex is fun. Oh, yes, it is. Mommy, did that woman get fucked last night? It seems as if she did. Oh, hell yeah. Excuse me. Oh, Mr. Mayor. I want to give you the key to the city. I will go for it. Your confidence in the choices you make and your ability to celebrate your body. Um, I always celebrate my body. Sometimes twice a day. Good morning. Good This is Sirach chapter 26 and 25. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, but she that is shame faced will fear Yahweh. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word with truth, sincerity, with charity. Presenting your bodies a living sacrifice, we who are ready to live salute you. So I just want to go into this lesson, and I'm gonna call it um, "All Dogs Go to Hell," man. All dogs go to hell, man. All right, because a woman without shame, in the eyes of the Lord, as I read, is a bitch, man. Is a is a uh, is a dog, man. All right, and at the end of the day. Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, he's not dealing with that. He's not dealing with that at all, man. Okay? And you're gonna uh in the last days, you women are you're gonna re you're gonna find out too late that there was nothing sweeter than the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, man. And the fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai will cause you to be shame faced, it, man. Alright. But you know, nowadays, um, our women are proud and uh, they're shameless, man. All right, and they're all of, they're all about this world, man, and carnality. Um, okay, they're all about carnality, man. Excuse me. Stop. Let go. That is dog. Okay. So uh let me grab another scripture. Uh, she, that, that. All right. Because uh this whole city, this whole land that we're in man stop this whole land that we're in it's all centered around women man this is a that's why it's called a metropolis man. all right a metropolis uh basically means mother city man and this whole city in the in the laws and within it are made to cater to women man all right that's why they get all the benefits as scripture says um uh, they have not known me and they receive benefits, man. So they're going to dwell in torments, man. But this is first Timothy five and six, but she that liveth in pleasure is dead while she liveth. All right. Because, uh, the Lord create the scriptures tell you what a, what a woman was created for. A woman was created for the man. All right. To, to bear children and guide the household with the instructions that the, um, that the, uh, that the husband gives her, man. All right, but um, but what do what do these women do? Uh, let me get another scripture. Uh, food. Wait. Bear with me. Every. Right. This is uh Proverbs fourteen. <laughs> This is Proverbs 
verse 14 and 1. Every wise woman builds a house, but the foolish pluck it down with their hands. All right? And, uh, you know, that's what I went in that, you know, they, they're rebelling against their natural order, which is they really destroying your own house, your own safety and security, which is the man, man. The men, we're supposed to be the protectors, man. Now you got, what is this uh, movement, protect black women? We're not protected, okay? Hey, if you can't be corrected, then you will not be protected, man. All right? If you want to get up, uh, if you, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be your protector. If you want to get up and walk the street three o'clock in the morning, all right, well, uh, against my wills, you know what I'm saying, then look, man, whatever happens to you, that's on your ass, man. Because I'm not finna risk my life for a fucking idiot, man. Okay? All right. Um, now. You know, I'm not going to be fooled to, uh, to risk my life for, for, for a damn, um, idiot, man. All right, they can't be instructed. All right, here it is, uh, uh, me being a man, not just a man, or not just a man, but a man of the Lord, all right? I got to be in order. And here, you think I'm going to waste my time with a motherfucker that don't want to be in order, man? And I got to be in order? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I got, I, I, you know, I got, uh, I got to be in order with my husband, man, which is Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shai, man. You know, which is being in order with the with the brethren, you know, the brotherhood. All right. Uh, but yeah, this is Proverbs seven. Uh, I'm gonna start it. Uh. uh and nine in the twilight in the evening in the black and the dark night and behold there met him a woman with the attire of an harlot and subtle of heart so the lord is using a, a a whore as an analogy for false doctrine man but either one will destroy you right that's why the scripture says wine and women cause men of understanding to fall away all right she is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide not in her house. Now is she without, now in the streets, and lieth in the wait, in wait at every corner. Yeah. Yeah, so, hey, uh, another one says, uh, her feet abideth not in the house. Let me get that, man. Because they're all in the streets, man. Twerking on top of everything, man. <laughs> Twerking on top of cars, man. Twer you know, see a damn nigga bitch in a tree like a fucking monkey twerking, man. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> you know, there's no shame whatsoever, man. You know, um, what was I looking for? It's a lucky. Um, mm, let me grab another one. Uh, yeah yeah let me grab this one right uh, that's not what I was looking for I was looking for the one that's talking about her haughty looks and her eyelids uh, haughty looks Yeah, there we go. Sirach 26. Right, this is Sirach 26 and 9. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids, man. All right, man. Proud, man. The word haughty basically goes into proud, man. And as you see in that video, Amber Rose, she was proud, man. Matter of fact, I could I could have read up on this. Uh, 
Right. This is Sirach 26 and 5. There be three things that my heart feareth, and the fourth I was so afraid. The slander of a city, the gathering together of an unruly multitude, and a false accusation. All these are worse than death, right? And these nigga women, they're, they're known for doing that, man. They're known for doing uh, false accusations. You just had the brick lady, man. Now everybody's uh, uh, waking up to that scam, right? But a brief... But a grief of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman and a scourge of the tongue, which communicateth with all. Damn, nigga, quit licking me. All right. You know, an evil. Right. A, a scourge of a tongue, which communicated with all, man. <laughs> you know, bitches, they be running eight miles, man. Evil wife and an evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro. He that has hold of her is as though he had held a scorpion. A drunken woman and a gather abroad causeth great anger, and she would not cover her own shame. Right, man. You know, she would not cover her own shame, man. Right, because <laughs> she's shameless, man. She don't give a damn, man. You know, but hey, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is coming to the earth and he's coming to return to bring shame to the game. All right. All right. The Lord is going to bring shame to the game. Hold on. There's a little bit more than that. Let me let me get them. Let me get some more meat off this. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks, proud looks and eyelids and right. And pride is the opposite of shame. All right. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through over much liberty. Right. So she's going to abuse herself. She's going to destroy herself, man. She's going to she's going to destroy and give away anything about her that's valuable. You know, the scriptures talk about how all whores uh, receive gifts from lovers. But uh, as a nation, we gave all our gifts away. And how are these other women? They don't they even they don't even do that, do that, man. You know. All right. Yeah. Watch over an impudent eye, and marvel not if she trespass against thee. Right. So marvel not if she trespass against thee. You know what I'm saying? All right. A shameless woman. You know that's what she's gonna do. All right. That's why it said marvel not, man. All right. Don't be surprised if that hoe act like a hoe. All right. Hey, chill out. She will open her mouth as a thirsty traveler when she hath found a fountain and drink of every water near her. By every heads will she like will she sit down. And open her quiver against every arrow. I Meaning she gonna suck every dick and do every rod, man. If you if you so let her, man. The grace of a wife delighteth her husband, and her discretion will fatten his bones. And right, that's a shame faced woman, right? A shame faced woman, you know, cause these women, right, they're not perfect, you know. They go off, they tweet. But, you know, a righteous woman is gonna be uh shame faced, all right? You know, and uh, all these whores, man, hence the uh, title of this lesson, they're going to be the Lord. They're going to be into, uh, let me see, many days and years trouble. The Lord's going to trouble you, man. Are right, you wicked women, man, out here? The Lord's going to judge your ass, man. He's going to judge you harshly. Cause you're the weaker vessel at the end of the day, man. All right, you the weaker vessel. All right, you can't deal with no goddamn adversity. All right, that's why you see all these people on TikTok crying about poverty and all this shit. It's mostly women, man. Cause men, you know understand, we gotta fucking man up, man. All right. This is Isaiah thirty-two. And um. Uh, and nine, rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. 
Give ears unto my give ear unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women, for the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. So all those benefits that you got, man, the Lord's finna snatch that all away, man. Tremble ye women that are at ease, be troubled, ye careless ones, strip you and make you bare and gird sackcloth upon your loins. All right. So get into mourning, man. They shall lament for the teats, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. So you're gonna be you're gonna cry about all those goodies, because they're gonna be gone. Alright. Upon the land of my people shall come up thorns and briars. Yea, upon all the houses of joy in the joyous city. All right, because this is the rejoicing city, as the scripture said. This is party fucking city, man. All right. Yeah, chill out, little nigga. Party city, man. All right, but the Lord's about to crash your party, man. Matter of fact, you know, you can either be ashamed now or you're going to bear your shame later. All right. Matter of fact, let me grab another scripture. All right. Uh, damn, boy. You're not going nowhere. Chill out. Mm -hmm. Bear with me. This dog. Sit. Sit down. Sit down. Tweaker. All right. Uh, yeah. Man, trying to do a lesson. <laughs> but yeah, this is, uh, did it ever come up, god damn it. Right, Micah 7. You know, because one of the curses was... The Lord said, I'm not going to punish your women when they commit adultery. Basically, a woman is going to pass a man, and ain't going to be nothing you can do about it. <laughs> so that's something we've been dealing with. That's a part of our, our, our curses. But as it says, this is uh, Micah 7 and, and, uh, and 9. I will bear the indignation of you because I have sinned against him. Right? So this is a part of the indignation of the Lord. All right? Sit down. All right. I will bear the indignation of Yahweh because I have sinned against him until he plead my cause and execute judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light and I will behold his righteousness. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. Right. Because, hey, y'all number two enemy as Israelite men is the so-called black woman, man. All right. Number one being Esau and shame shall cover her, which said unto me. Where is Yahweh thy power? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. Right. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. Now is she going to get beat the fuck down. She going to get crushed in these last days, man. All right. All right. You know, so shame is going to cover you, man. For all the shit you've done, man. Things gonna cover you, man. Hey, before you win, man, hey, hey, you know, if you have, if you believe, you believe in how about Shimmy Alshai, hey, man, my advice to you is to stay in this or you could possibly be in, you know, especially if you have a man of the Lord, man. If you don't, shit, do what you can for the church, man, you know, and, and, um, be in order, man. Be in the order that the Lord intended you to be in. Other than that, let me get this. Other than that, you're going to be counted as a dog. All right. And and, and dogs, <laughs> dogs are about to go to hell. All right. And I don't mean spiritual hell like the, the Christians. I mean, they're about to be put in a low condition, been destroyed, man, in, in this lake of fire, <laughs> which is going to be Babylon the Great. Down. Sit down. Sit. But this is um, Revelations 22, 
and 13. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. That's Yahweh Shai, our, our, our Savior and Redeemer. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life. And they enter in through the gates into the city. And what did the Lord commanded you women to do? To be in order, man. To guide the children. To, you know, to guide the house under the order of a man. All right? And to guide the children, man. Yeah, that was a scammer. Right? So let me read that again. Blessed are they that do his commandments, and they that that they may have right to the tree of life in this and may enter in through the gates into the city for without our dogs all right without our dogs okay and so you're going to be and what the scripture says uh, without is going to be weeping and gnashing the teeth man those with that, without that circle of the you're going to be you're going to you're going to be destroyed man and sorcerers right because hey the uh witchcraft because uh Rebellion is as a sin of uh, witchcraft, man. And when you're just doing what you want to do, man, you're just being rebellious, man. All right? Uh, and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. Okay? So you don't want to be found without, man. All right? Because all dogs, <laughs> all dogs is going to hell, man. All you bitches, man. All right? So, yeah, it's a little lesson I want to do. Hope there was some edification within it. Uh, Shalom and the Bible Ball.